Our judges have completed their placing in the fall heifer calf class of the International Milking Shorthorn Show. Would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? Our second place junior is entry 589, Hankacine Seer Rebellion EXPET, leased by Caden Fett and owned by Matt and Trent Hankus, Luana, Iowa. Best bred and owned in the class goes to entry 568, Lazy M Benderback EXP, shown by Lazy M Farm LLC, Michael and Herman Meyer, Stitzer, Wisconsin. Third place in the class, entry 578, Mole Hill Lars Marin Munro EXP, shown by M. Gregory M. Upchurch and BNS Ferry, Hebron, Illinois. Second in the class and the winning junior, congratulations to 584, BDF PV Rockstar Marsha ET, shown by Sutton Paulson and Sage Dornan, Rockford, Illinois. And in first place, entry 567, Landsbrook KNH Chili Pepper, shown by Peter Vale, Englewood, Florida. Congratulations. Judge Sparrow, your comments. What an outstanding class of uh, milking shorthorn fall calves here. I think you could look down here 15, 16, 18th place and, and find some heifers that uh, make me look silly when somebody goes back in the barn and says they didn't even get a medal. But uh, the top 10, I think, is where it really gets close. And we've got a pair of heifers here to start this class today that are as different as night and day, but they're exceptionally special heifers. This first place heifer exemplifies dairy strength. She's a heifer that's got that width to the chest floor, yet femininity over the shoulders, wide back through the rump, walks on an exceptional set of feet and legs, tremendous drop to that rib section. Her main advantage over this second place heifer is right behind her shoulders. Just a little fuller in those crops, just a little bit more of that mass and strength and power than this sleek, ultra refined heifer coming out in second. Second place heifer just blows you away with this femininity, clean cutness. She's got such a long neck, just a beautiful, stylish heifer, just lacks that mass and substance to get up in the top spot today. But she does use her advantage in rear legs to go over a third-place heifer. Third-place heifer, I told the young man from the hooks forward, she wins this class. From the hooks back, the reason she's in third, uh, if you could change that rear end a little bit, um, you could probably get her up in that top spot. But if you could change me to seven foot tall, John Calipari might have called me. She does have so much more drop to that rear rib than this fourth place heifer. In addition, I think uh, she's just got a little bit more width back through that rump. Fourth place heifer is an exceptional heifer. You love the stretch and length of body she's got. And it is that length of body that takes her over uh, these two junior heifers coming out in fifth and sixth. An exceptionally close pair of heifers. Both heifers, I'd really want to change them about the rear legs. They don't float quite as nicely. Um, quite as nicely as a couple of heifers ahead of them, but they do have an advantage in dariness to go over this young man's heifer coming out in seventh place. Just want to tighten her up over the shoulders uh, to get her any higher in the class today. Congratulations on an outstanding class of fall calves.